about fantasy aesthetic or fantasy core because I feel like fantasy core fantasy aesthetic isn't super popular in like daily life situations when I go on YouTube and type in fantasy aesthetic or fantasy core I get a lot of um, playlists ambiance videos um, TikTok compilations when I search it on Pinterest I get fancy dresses concept art costumes movie stills and all of that stuff is amazing and I love it but none of that is going to help me become the fantasy cryptid of my dreams in my daily life so I myself am a fantasy lover and I feel like I take a lot of inspiration from fantasy when I'm making my outfits I figured since I couldn't find much about fantasy daily wear on the internet, it might be beneficial for me to share some of the things that I like to do to make my outfits. So I'm just going to be kind of talking you through how I like to build my outfits in this video. I put some question stickers on my Instagram asking what things people would like me to share about how I build my fantasy style outfits. And I want to go over some of those, but before I do that, I I just want to talk about fantasy aesthetic a little bit. I think that fantasy core is one of the most accessible aesthetics, and I know you're probably thinking, what, what about any of this is accessible? And my answer is creativity. Of course, if you're going for like a high fantasy type of look, you're gonna to want to invest in some higher quality items to put that outfit together but I feel like it's totally different for daily wear. I am going to show you how to integrate fantasy into your wardrobe, but keep it pretty wearable for most circumstances. So one person asked on my Instagram, what's the first step to living your fantasy life? And my answer is to do literally anything that you want when it comes to fashion. Fantasy as a whole is about escapism. So think of things like D&D, Lord of the Rings, Narnia, Legend of Zelda, the Dark Crystal, one of my favorites. And then things like Harry Potter can also fit in that category. These are all things that you can draw inspiration from when you're trying to build an outfit. I think the point of fantasy core to me is that you can embody any type of character that you want in your daily life, which kind of makes being alive feel a little bit more magical to me. <laughs> we need to do things that make us feel like the main character. And that is what fantasy is for. You can really pull inspiration from any type of character you want to embody. It could literally be anything that you want, and that's my favorite part. Of course, creating looks for each of these things are going to depend on what you can find, but in my experience, you can find most things thrifting, and I would encourage thrifting for this aesthetic because it's really about layering a bunch of things together to create unique silhouettes that might reflect some type of fantasy vibes. Some things though you will not be able to find thrifting and there are options available online. I have an Amazon link of things, some things that I have or similar things that I have. You can look through that if you wish. Another question asked, do you have any thrifting tips? And yes, I do. I don't typically discriminate any particular type of fabric because I think you can make most things work, but I do prefer natural things like cotton and linen because they're very breathable and um, if you want to dye them or change them up color-wise, it's going to make it a lot easier. But I also love looking for things with lace um, or like kind of crocheted knitted details on it as well as just simple stretchy spandexy you know kind of like 
<laughs> what am I trying to say? Stretchy kind of t-shirt fabrics too. Just anything that's going to have some stretch and kind of drape well on your body. I do tend to stick to a color group that I like though and I am more drawn to um, kind of natural neutral colors. Um, I really like browns and greens. I like if it's a color I prefer it to be a little more pastel or like a faded shade. I just feel like if I buy something super colorful I don't wear it as often. Another person asked what must-haves in my wardrobe are. I would say must-haves for a fantasy core aesthetic in my opinion is pretty much the same as any other type of aesthetic you would find. Um, I think that when we try to delve into a new aesthetic we have this idea that we need to like throw everything that we own away and completely start over and that's totally not the case especially with fantasy because it truly can be anything you want like there's literally no right or wrong way to build an outfit when it's purely out of your imagination dresses days corsets leggings dress pants blouses boots and sandals for shoes button-up shirts, sweaters, vests, and then jackets and coats for colder weather. Pretty much the same as any other aesthetic that you might find online, which sounds boring, but the point of it is that the base of your wardrobe is going to be things that you actually will wear, things that you actually have, because you still want these outfits to be comfortable for the weather and activities you do on a daily basis. Another question was how to accessorize and in my opinion that is the most important and the most fun part of building a fantasy outfit. I would say my first tip when it comes to accessorizing is layering. Get creative with it too. You can layer anything over anything basically in my opinion. I don't think there's rules. When you put weird things together and create interesting silhouettes, it's going to help you lean into that fantasy side of things, even if it's just totally normal clothes. Some layering essentials for me would be corset belts and just belts in general. Do not be afraid of belts. You can wear as many belts as you want and it's going to make it look like sort of like a faux armor type of look and I mean, that's like such an easy thing to add to any outfit. It just elevates it a little bit. I would also say accessories like scarves, um, harnesses, tights, just plain ribbon or fabric strips of things that you can cut up, and then hair accessories and bags. When it comes to layering, you might have to play around with it a bit to see what you like personally and what works with your body. There's a learning curve when it comes to layering and it took me a while to kind of figure out what I like and I feel like I am still in the process of learning um, the types of things that I like on me. Jewelry is also another great way to accessorize an outfit. Some jewelry I like for the fantasy core aesthetic would be wrapped bracelets, just layering up a bunch of bracelets, lots of rings, um, necklaces, mixing metal colors even. I thrift a lot of jewelry because I actually really like the kind of rugged, tarnished, cheap looking jewelry when it comes to fantasy aesthetic because I think there's a lot of texture to it and there's something about like tarnished jewelry that feels like it was stolen or found in like a magic box on the side of the road or is haunted or something. I prefer my jewelry a lot of the time to look like it is falling apart. When jewelry looks old it feels like it can be it could be imbued with some type of magic in my opinion. When I am thrifting jewelry I look for things with glass beads, wood elements, layered necklaces that are like a bunch of strands on one clasp. Really just anything that calls to you, anything that you like can be a part of your outfit. If you're not into the decrepit looking jewelry that I like sometimes, <laughs> there are some really cool jewelry pieces you can find online. I have some things that I really like. I'm actually wearing a necklace that I make right here. It's my sword and pearl necklace. Here's my Instagram shop if you 
want a sword necklace. I'm going to be selling more soon. Etta Love has some pieces that I really like. I have a gold ring with a heart and a crown and some swords on it. I have a sword necklace and then I have a rose with a snake around it from them. I have a beautiful moth and moon necklace. Um, I think it's called the Out of the Woods Choker from Crafter Day that she sent me and it's absolutely gorgeous. I have a Venetian Gothic window from Ecclesia on Instagram and I adore this necklace. I think it's so cool and I love the dark metal. I have this orchid necklace that I got from an art show and I'll leave her Instagram up here for you. It's handmade from a real, she actually cast a real orchid and it's got moonstone all over it which I love. And then I have a leaf necklace that my aunt and uncle gave me from Etsy. I'm not sure who made it but it's really pretty. You can find a lot of cool stuff on Etsy and I also, when I'm looking for jewelry, I have some things that I got from antique stores that I love. Um, I really like looking at antique stores for Art Nouveau style jewelry and online I have more luck with this, but you can look for medieval recreation jewelry. I think that's about all the thoughts in my brain I have for this at this point. So I'm going to show you some outfits that I make using these tips. <laughs> we'll start with this dress that I'm currently wearing from YesStyle. And I have worn the absolute hell out of this dress. The elastic is like completely like not stretchy anymore and it falls off my shoulders. So I might need to invest in a new one, but I love this dress so much. So let's begin. With